Hello Booktube, my name is Elizabeth and I read bouquins and books and this is day two of my reading staycation when I give myself the objective of reading 200 pages a day. I'm on vacation, my only job is to read. Poor little me. <laughs> uh, yesterday I didn't quite make it to 200 pages. I played with script. I made reading lists and because of that I just clicked on so many books that looked interesting and sounded interesting and that I wanted to read that I ended up not reading at all. Um, it's one of the hazards of technology. Uh, one can easily get distracted by all the fun there is to have with these electronic toys. But today I am well on my way to read 200 pages. I think I've reached 200 pages and I will read some more because I have uh, very interesting books ongoing. So one of the books that I have ongoing is Red Comet. Of course, uh, I have to read 40 pages a day if I want to read it by the end of August. And I read my 40 pages. So, so far so good. And I cannot talk about it because it's for the BookTube prize. I also said yesterday that I would finish Cleopatra. I have not finished it. I still have about 50 pages to go, but it is still very interesting. Um, it's just that I got distracted. I wanted to read something in French, so I picked up something in French and it was this book translated from the Japanese. The author is, I'm going to read this to be sure, Keiji Nakazawa, and it's a memoir of um, the atomic bomb. He was six years old at Hiroshima on August 6, 1945, and that is uh, how he lived through it. So he talks about that particular day, but also the aftermath of it, because that is one of the great tragedies of the atomic bomb. It's that the effect lasts for a very long time. And at the time, they didn't know it was an atomic bomb that had exploded. They just thought it was just a big incendiary bomb. But then not long afterwards, they realized that people continued to die and people that looked fine, but they just started bleeding. And then some of them just died in their sleep. Uh, some of them got cancers so bad they died in a few weeks. Um, it was like that. And that's how they realized that it was something else. But at the time, the effects of radiations were not very well known. Um, so other aftermaths of that were that the people who were uh, the victim of the atomic bombs were very much shunned by the Japanese society because at the time they thought perhaps it was contagious. Um, they thought uh, it would have repercussions on children. So the young people who survived that often couldn't get married afterwards uh, because uh, the, the families, the in-laws thought they would bring um, malformations and cancers in the family. Uh, so it talks about all of that. It's very short. Um, it's written rather big in a quite a big font. Oh, there are images in the in the middle. Um, and it's really a lean telling. There's no flowery language. There's no fluff. It's just the simple facts and just the astonishment and the horror of it all. It was very emotional. Um, I cried. Um, and sometimes I wonder, why do I read these books? I know they are important. I know it's important that we know what happens, that we know the, all the full horror of what human beings are capable of. But sometimes I wonder, why do I read this? So that's why after reading that, I didn't want to read something serious. I went to something very fluffy. And that is The Honeymooners by uh, Christina Lauren. I'm only a few chapters in. Uh, so far, it's quite funny. It's a romantic comedy. Uh, it's about, uh, well, th the main character, the narrator, is called Olive Torres. And as it begins, she is the bridesmaid at her sister's wedding, her twin sisters. And um, I know a bit what happens afterwards because that's the basis of the plot. It's that uh, because the, the wedding feast is a buffet, everybody gets sick except two people. That is the narrator who was allergic to something so needed to have a special dish prepared and the brother of the groom who also had a dish prepared for him. So they are the only two people who are not poisoned. And of course they cannot stand each other. They hate each other. But because everybody's sick, including the bride and the groom, they will not be able to enjoy the honeymoon, a free honeymoon in Hawaii. So instead, it's the sister and the brother of the bride of the groom who will end up going on that honeymoon, even though they hate each other. So that's a very interesting premise. And so far, it's quite funny. Uh, I'm only two chapters in, so I'm really not that far in, but it's quite good. So I know I will keep reading that to... Uh, 
compensate a little bit for the harshness, the heaviness, the, the sadness of this book. So that is where I am today. So two days in, I'm very happy with my vacation. Uh, it's fun to travel, but sometimes it's fun to stay home too. So thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourself. If you need a vacation, take one if you can. It's fun. And I will see you in the next video. À la prochaine!